Happy New Year, everyone. I've gone into session for each of the 12 sun signs and each of the 12 ascendant signs. There are 12 videos posted for the 2018 evolutionary growth narrative. What is the main theme for your growth and evolution over the coming year? It's going to be different for your sun than your ascendant because they represent different aspects of the soul's growth journey. In each video, it's themed by sign. So in the Aries video, you're going to have two readings in that video. One for the sun, the second for the ascendant. It will be the same for Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, etc. I am sending you each much love as we enter this very dynamic, very growth-oriented and maturation-oriented year of 2018. More to come. Blessing to begin. Accepting my blessings and help will not create dependency or prevent you from taking responsibility for applying yourself to a task. My gifts simply amplify the results of your efforts. I do this because I am invested in your success. It will bring happiness to more people than you realize, and your desires and mine are in perfect accord. You have what it takes within you to bring a precious and sacred idea to life. I would like to help you push off from the earth, giving some lift for those first few steps to set your manifestation in motion. Sustaining the momentum takes less energy than getting it started. It is important to me that this impulse in you comes to life, for I was the one that planted the desire in your heart in the first place. Let me gift you with ignition, energy for the beginning. You have my blessing to begin. You are being given a divine leg up. A blessing to begin. The divine is going to help you launch something important, an idea, a seedling of hope, a new start. It may feel as though something is being handed to you, as though the divine is offering you some sacred help. Don't fall into the trap of believing that because it is easy in the beginning, it is not worthwhile or important. It is. Sometimes we get an infusion of divine energy into a startup to get it going because the divine knows how important it is and wants to give us a helping hand. Accept the help and opportunity that so easily comes your way now, but also remember that you are being given help because there is something of great worth here. Sometimes human beings have a quirk in their nature, and if something happens too easily or readily, it is dismissed. Don't let such foolishness sully your wisdom. Responsibility for the idea developing further and coming to life beyond this initial beginning will lie with you. You are up to the task. You can do it. That is why it was given to you and why you shall be helped in the early stages. If there are new opportunities coming your way, act on them. Say yes. The Divine Mother has sent these to you so that you may find your way and ultimately help not only yourself, but others, too, through your life journey. Do not feel guilty or unworthy for any assistance, help, or free pass that you receive at this time. The Divine is moving you forwards with loving purpose. This oracle also brings guidance for those with a project further along the path who have perhaps hit an obstacle or are struggling. You may be wondering if this is a sign that you should give up on the dream, that it's time to let it go and do something else instead. This oracle suggests that you should remember why you started. Perhaps reconsider giving up, at least for now. You can detach from the form of the original project if you wish, allowing for the universe to adjust the details. But if your heart still beats for the essence, for the initial purpose, honor that. Perhaps choose to keep going for a time, even if the path seems harder than it was at the beginning. 
The reason it seems more challenging is not because it has become the wrong path as such. It is just that you are bearing more of the load on your own because your soul is strong enough to do it. Your heart is courageous enough to still have trust and faith and your mind is willing to acknowledge doubts and uncertainties without allowing them to overcome your resolve to continue and see this idea or dream through to completion. You see, beloved, this dream is perfect for you. It will ask you to grow so that it can happen, and the growth asked of you is exactly what your heart and soul needs for further empowerment. You can imagine it is something like the Divine Mother removing the training wheels from your bicycle, since you are now ready to master the skill of riding on your own. Will grace still be there when you need it? Of course. But there is much learning and satisfaction, confidence and trust in yourself to be gained from the current state of affairs, too. Look to internal self-mastery, and resolution in the outer set of circumstances will follow. The oracle of blessing to begin is a confirmation of an idea or question about a new beginning. If you are asking about being ready to start something, be that a project or even a new relationship, an expansion in your family, or a new training program, this is your affirmation and validation from higher guidance. Whatever stage you are at in the manifestation of your dreams, be it the earliest glimmer of a vision or one that you have invested decades of your life to and on which you are far along the path, the gift of the mother is bestowed upon you, her red poppy of success. She has guided you and shall continue to do so, offering protection whenever needed whilst allowing you room to spread your wings and empower yourself by taking responsibility for your efforts, too. If you stumble into arduous circumstances, ask for help and trust also that whatever is before you, you can handle it, even if sometimes you question that before conquering the issue at hand. This oracle also brings generally helpful guidance for you to take a step. You have been thinking about it. Do it. It may be an actual journey or a new class, a new habit, or speaking the truth to others about something meaningful for you. Or it may be an opportunity that is about to sweep in unexpectedly. The divine will protect and assist you, and in taking a step, you open up avenues for the universe to bless you with all manner of resources and assistance. The assurance and blessing of the Divine Mother empowers your own soul to take even the most apparently impossible or intimidating of prospects and turn them into accomplishments whilst growing in self-confidence and self-mastery. So believe in yourself. The Divine Mother does. Sisters of the Spring Swallow, Good Fortune Granted I understand that for life to flourish, there must be winter. How can life happen if there is not time enough for rest, for germination? There must be adequate preparation time for the energy within the seed to break open boldly, pushing roots down into the earth and the sprout up to the surface, breaking through the soil and reaching toward the sun. Yes, the wisdom of winter has its place as does the wisdom of spring, that time when new life flourishes. It is not the full light of summer nor the harvest time of autumn, but it is an important phase of the life cycle, for without it, these two seasons could not happen either. Springtime is upon you now, beloved. It is a time for hope, new life, and fresh starts. What has been cut back is now going to spring forwards into life. Enjoy my gift of springtime in your soul. No matter what the physical season upon the earth, the soul too goes through its seasons. Spring in the soul heralds a time of new birth. New ideas, new inspirations, new energy to take action, new life, new connections, and new gifts abound. The appearance of the swallow in China is often referred to in poetry as a sign of eminent spring, a time of growth, abundance, and life, especially beloved after a long, hard 
winter. Your soul has been in a spiritual winter of sorts. It might have felt as though you have been in a deep and quiet place within. A hibernation, perhaps, or a deluge of snow and rain where you were releasing pent-up emotions that might have left you cleansed but fatigued with the exertion required. During a winter, especially if it is deep, it may seem to the casual observer, and sometimes even to those who are more aware of the energy, as though nothing is taking place. Yet the coming of the spring shows this to be untrue. When life bursts forth with a sudden rush of energy and enthusiasm, new opportunities begin to flow in. Much is happening, apparently all of the sudden. We can now understand that the life force within had not disappeared, but had been contracting and concentrating itself to be strong and ready for the opportunity of spring. This oracle brings a message. Whatever appears to have been dwindling, spinning its wheels, and not really going anywhere, is about to get an injection of life force. If you have been ill, struggling with an issue emotionally, physically, or mentally, you will recover. If your work has been slow, there will be a boost and flurry of unexpected sudden activity. If you have been losing energy and feeling drained, you will soon rise up, and with a surge of new life force. This is miraculous, but not inexplicable. It is natural. It is the life cycle of your soul growth. You are just entering the spring. You are also guided to remain open to opportunities and not try to prematurely limit your options or choices at this stage. Cast your net wide and see what you catch. There will be some connections, paths, and projects that can get you inspired, but don't have a long-term appeal. That is fine. Some flowers bloom early in the season and for a short time. Such experiences or connections will still offer you something of value, learning, and some skills, and possibly even a connection or two that will be of greater assistance later on in your life journey. In the time of spring, life force abounds and fatalities can be high. It is a time of natural selection when the strongest life force bearing creations begin to move toward the summer. During the time for your soul, you'll be contemplating different paths and possibilities, different identities, different jobs perhaps, different dreams and visions. You'll even be exploring different relationships and connections. The guidance is that good fortune will come from being open and detached, allowing the natural rise and fall of the life force to sort through the connections, dreams, and opportunities that are right for you and will therefore be preserved for a longer duration, and the ones that are not quite right, at least for the longer term, which shall therefore fall away. With the oracle of Sisters of the Spring Swallow Good Fortune granted, you can know that whatever happens that can be accepted is for the greatest good in your life and does not need to be resisted or controlled. Don't try to prolong something that needs to end and don't become impatient with what is now just becoming. Simply enjoy what is. You have worked hard to get where you are. Just enjoy it for a while. The seasons of your soul are turning in perfect harmony with a greater cycle of life on the earth. Enjoy the springtime, just like you would enjoy the various blessings of youth before you gain the substantial enjoyments of maturation. Say yes to life and enjoy the process. Don't worry if you feel your vision or understanding is incomplete at this time. At the turning of the soul season into summer and eventually autumn, you will have a fuller vision and know what it is to be sacrificed and what it is to be preserved. You cannot know that clearly now, so be willing to remain open to all but attached to nothing. If you are frustrated in a project that isn't taking off as soon as you would like, in a relationship that isn't progressing in intimacy as quickly as you would like, or in an idea or business that isn't bearing fruit as plentifully as you would wish, take comfort. This is the spring. Your summer brilliance and autumn harvest will come later. That is nature. That is growth.
Your soul is a creature of nature, and so shall she grow accordingly. This oracle also brings a message of partnership that will lead to you being able to experience greater success. This is a helpful connection. It may be a relationship in a personal sense or a professional one. Align yourself with a partner that is interested in working with you rather than in what you can do for them. This is meant to be a cooperative effort, and if some connections seem more exploitive than cooperative, let them go. There is a more appropriate connection that will come in its place, and in your heart you will know who and when. Trust.